All right, Battletech fans, it's time for another unboxing from Death Ray Designs, and this time we got ourselves some vehicles. But I want to show off that cool little doodle there. Oh yeah, the Battle Irby, baby. We got some vehicles coming because, you know, in the future what I want to do is I want to run some combined arms. And I thought, man, what better way than to get a hold of Death Ray Designs, see what we can't do, and they came through in spades, man. We got a bunch of cool stuff. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got in here. All right, I'm excited. Dudes, we're gonna put this guy down here. All right. First out of the box, what do we got here? We got the Vesper VTOL. All right, man, check that thing out. And it looks so sweet. Got a couple of them in there. Looks like we also got a way to elevate it, so let's see if we can't figure that part out. All right, check these guys out. Man, that is super cool. And see, it's got a little hole there where you can mount these plastic little rods. And they go right inside these hex bases right here. And see these things you can see all over right here? These are the blades. And they go inside this doodad right here. If I pick it up, you can see how it's got the little holes in there. So that's where you mount the blades. You got yourself a couple of copters. I really dig the detail on these guys. I think that's going to bring a cool little elements from VTOLs to the whole thing. So next, it looks like we got ourselves the Bodkin Light Tank, as they call it. But I bought these for a very specific reason. And the reason I bought these is because to me, they really just looked like SRM carriers. And I thought, okay, how can I take these things that are, you know, maybe not meant for Battletech, they're just meant to be sci-fi, you know, type things. How can I turn them into something I can use for Battletech? That's what we had in mind here. And see these guys out of the box, they look pretty sweet. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, there we go. You can see the SRM carrier look they have to them. But look at the detail on those treads, eh? Like that's something that you know most people aren't even gonna look at. But when you think about it, when they put that kind of detail into it, even on stuff that you're not ever gonna see, I think that really says a lot little side panels there yeah I think that looks pretty sweet and of course we got tank number two so a couple of good SRM carriers there all right next out of the box we have the support vehicles support vehicles now I bought these just because you never know. When you have a mission objective, and let's say you want to protect some kind of important cargo, you want to protect some kind of important personnel, and you got an escort duty, right? You're gonna need some kind of support vehicles. And you can put anything you want into these. Whatever your imagination is, that's what it could be. But let's have a look at them. So we got four of these guys. Now you know, aside from just support vehicles, these easily could be a mash truck carrying medical supplies on a, like a delivery type mission. Again, look at the detail there on the bottom. These could be a command convoy. These could be some kind of personnel carriers bringing some infantry men to a specific location. They could be carrying spare parts. They could be carrying food for a relief mission. I love it. There we go. Look at the detail on that window. It's even got the little headlights there. Almost looks like a face, doesn't it? And then the detail there on the hubcaps and the wheels. You can see that. Yeah, see the detail on the hubcaps there? I think that's pretty sweet. So yeah, these are definitely something that you can use for whatever your heart desires. So I think that's a pretty good deal for those guys. All right, now I've got some Phantom AN-1 Hover APC tanks right here. And I bought these because I thought, well, you know, I could use something to represent like a Saladin or a J. Edgar Hover. And if you look at the old like Ralpartha miniatures, they're so tiny. And so I really wanted something with a lot more detail. And you don't get to use Hover vehicles very often, or at least I don't. So. Now look, 
See, it's got these little nacelles on the side. I'm sure those are fans, you know, but whatever. It just reminds me of the Starship Enterprise, you know? It's got the detail there on the cockpit area. Got a couple little guns. Who knows, those could be right there, anti-personnel pods or something like that. And the vents. I definitely think these could be representative of some cool hovercraft that you have in Battletech. And you get two of them in that package, which I think is also a pretty good deal. And you know what? These aren't so small that you would have a difficult time painting them. I think that anybody that wanted to paint these in kind of like a military style color scheme would have a pretty easy time of doing it. Because if you look at it in the palm of my hand, that's about how big it is. So. I'd say these are relatively good size, especially when painting is concerned. All right, and so next up looks like we have the Myers heavy tank. Sure wish my buddy Eric could be here to <laughs> see that one. Love to get the reaction on his face. It's the tank named after him. I'll have to show it to him tomorrow. Now, when you look at this, you'll see why I got it. I'm gonna put it together for you real fast. Have a good look. Doesn't that just look like a Shrek PPC carrier to you? That was the first thing I thought of. And pull this guy off and get a close look here. You could easily paint those PPC barrels with some kind of blue glow effect. Man, that would look so cool, wouldn't it? That's your turret. And then down here, you've got the base where it's a tracked vehicle. Again, got the tracks there on the bottom. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this guy. Again, Shrek PPC carrier, pretty solid tank. You don't get to see too many of those on the battlefield anymore. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, now what do we got here? We got the Gemini heavy tank. Gemini. So with this one, I was really thinking I could make it into kind of like a Devastator tank. The one with the two autocannon 20s in the turret. And that it would be kind of a cool thing to have. I can't remember if it's tracked or if it's uh, wheeled, but I'm pretty sure that the Devastator's a tracked tank. But I love the detail again on these AC-20s, if, if that's indeed what they are. So you got those vents right there. That could easily be a good source for painting on object source lighting. So yeah, you know, I think this is a pretty sweet little tank. Definitely I think it'd be good for a Devastator type thing, you know. Or just something that carries real big guns on the turrets, which in Battletech, I mean, let's be honest, you see that kind of stuff a lot. <laughs> All right, we're getting near the end on this one, but I got the Monarch Missile Carrier tanks up next. And these guys I bought specifically because they reminded me of LRM carriers. So when I saw the SRM carriers and then I saw these things, I thought, oh, well, you can't have SRM carriers and not have LRM carriers too, right? Yeah, look at this. And you see they got the, the missile pods popping out there. So you have 10 missile pods popping up there on each side, and that's easily an LRM-20. So there you got three LRM-20s. This is perfect for an LRM carrier. It comes with these little boxy thingies on the side. Not entirely sure where those go. And you got your vents back here. And again, I mean, these are pretty good size. I mean, look at the, the size of it in my palm right there. So for this price, I mean, shucks, I mean, you can't really go wrong. Get yourself a couple of LRM carriers and take your opponents out at range, you know? <laughs> Man, I really dig this. All right. And second to last, we have the SRM Infantry Platoon. I don't get to see infantry get used too much in these games, and so I thought, okay, maybe I can get some infantry guys going on here, and oh my gosh, look at these hex bases. Right out of the box, all right. Pop those guys down, have a look at these. All right, now check this out. These are tiny little SRM guys, and if you look at these hex bases right here, you can see how you can just pop out those little circles, and each base on these infantrymen here have a little circle on them. Eight dudes per base, and you're getting one, two, three, four of these in a box, so I mean, shucks. You're looking for some, in some infantry. That's pretty darn affordable at that price. 
but I've saved the best for last right here. This one is the one that I've been most excited to open. It is the Forward Command Post. This has got all kinds of neat little things in it. Like if you look here, we've got some silos, we've got some trucks, we've got the whatever the heck that thing is. So let's get this guy open. All right, now take a look at this stuff. This is super cool. So you've got your command silos here. This could be you know, a barracks, it could be a command post, it could be a storage facility, whatever it is that you need. Then you have a transport truck here. Could be carrying some kind of power source, some kind of reactor core there. Looks like you've got a satellite communications truck sitting here. And some basic Humvees. I mean, what's a military force without the Humvees, right? <laughs> so you got some Humvees. And then you've got this guy carrying some sort of thing on his back there, some fuel barrels I see. So that could be like a fuel carrying truck, something like that. And let's get, you know, one of these new mechs for scale here. Awesome! So this is the scale that you got. Let's put that awesome right next to that tank. So I think those are relatively well scaled. I mean, considering the fact that that mech is, you know, two to three stories tall, that guy probably three stories, and these tank trucks are only about as big as its foot goes up to maybe its shin there so stick it right there in the middle next to the humvees so yeah i definitely think the scale on this is correct so i absolutely love this man this is going to make such a cool set piece in videos coming up soon i can't wait to use this stuff so i'd say for the price that i paid for all of this this is a home run i mean i really couldn't ask for anything cooler than this stuff man i'm looking at this command pose and i'm just totally geeking out over it <laughs> oh man it's got a little doorway and everything yeah i'm really looking forward to using a lot of this stuff as a set piece making some cool videos with it and not only that i feel like for the price i paid versus what i got this is a home run to me. This is a great deal. You're getting a bunch of tanks. You're getting some cool set pieces. You're getting infantry. If you want to play with something other than just mechs, you want to add that little extra detail, that little extra depth to your games, run some com combined arms, something like that, I really feel like that Death Ray Designs has a good value for the price here. So definitely check them out. We're going to get you a little discount code here from Battlebound as a way to say thank you for watching. And of course, Death Ray Designs, thank you so much for sending me this stuff, man. I'm looking real forward to using this in some games in the future. But as always, Battlebound fans, thank you so much for watching. This has been another Death Ray Designs review. I'm Tuck Davian, and we'll see you next time out on the Space Lanes. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Crowdfunding is when lots of people give you small amounts of money to help your passion project come to life.